Rays beat Twins 8-7 on Zach Duke's error in 10th. St. Petersburg, Florida, App, pinch runner Johnny Field scored the game-winning run from second base in the 10th inning as reliever Zach Duke missed first base after taking a flip from first baseman Joe Maurer on Denard Spence to out grounder lead the Tampa Bay Rays to an 8-7 victory over the Minnesota Twins on Friday night. Wilson Ramos had a one-out double off Duke, 1-1. After Malek Smith struck out and Adney Hecavaria was intentionally walked, Maurer made a diving catch on Spence ball and made a toss to Duke, who missed touching the base on two attempts that allowed Field to score. The safe call was upheld after a 2-minute, 16-second video review. Alex Colomb 1-2, worked a perfect 10th for the win. Tampa Bay forced extra innings when Carlos Gomez was hit by a pitch from Fernando Rodney with two outs in the ninth, stole second and scored on Brad Miller's RBI single to tie it at seven. Miller, strained left groin, was reinstated from the 10-day disabled list before the game. Minnesota had rallied from a late four-run deficit to take a 7-6 in the ninth on Max Kepler's solo shot. Eddie Rosario had pulled the Twins even at six on his third career Grand Slam in the eighth, coming on an 0-2, two-out pitch from Sergio Romo. Span drove in three runs for the Rays. Chris Archer, coming off a start Saturday against Philadelphia in which the right-hander gave up seven runs in four innings, limited Minnesota to two runs and four hits in six and two-thirds innings. Lance Lynn making his first start since April 9th due in part of three postponed games, gave up five runs, seven hits, five walks and had seven strikeouts in six-plus innings. Span hit a two-run double in the fifth as the Rays grabbed a 3-2 lead, and added a run-scoring single during a three-run seventh that made it 6-2. The leadoff hitter tops Tampa Bay with 14 RBIs, coming in 48 at-bats. Logan Morrison put the Twins up 1-0 in the second with his first homer, coming in his first at-bat against his former team. Morrison signed with Minnesota as a free agent after hitting 38 homers last year with Tampa Bay. Brian Dozier singled in the sixth to extend his season-opening hitting streak to 14 games. It's one away from the Twins' team record of 15 held by Kirby Puckett, 1994, and Josh Willingham, 2012. Dating back to last season, Dozier has hit safely in 21 consecutive games. Trainers roomed wins, RHP Phil Hughes, strained left oblique, will return from the 10-day disabled list to start the series finale Sunday. Manager Paul Molitor said of Byron Buxton, placed the 10-day DL Wednesday due to migraines, is doing slightly better. Rays CF Kevin Kiermaier had surgery to repair a torn ligament in his right thumb and will be sidelined two to three months. Up next Twins are HB Kyle Gibson, 1-0, will face Rays LHP Blake Snell, 2-1, Saturday night. Gibson is 1-4 with a 7.04 error and 6 starts against Tampa Bay. Snell has given up two runs over 12 and one-third innings in winning his last two starts.